Hey everyone, uh, quick book review for Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere. Uh, this is my first Neil Gaiman. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm saying his name right, but whatever. Uh, I... <laughs> okay, so this book is an urban fantasy. Um, and I've only read two other memorable urban fantasies um which was oh, i think it's war war of the oaks and um rivers of london and this is so similar to rivers of london in so many ways uh, and i also feel like rivers of london it's shades away from being truly brilliant um it's good i enjoyed it the first um, two thirds. Um, I know I tend to split things into thirds, but this is it. It's the life we live. So the first two thirds are just really good. Um, and then the last third, uh, it's going to be spoilerish to say, so I'd rather not. Um, but I was just a little bit disappointed um, in where the story decided to go. I didn't really understand, like, he spent so much time building this little uh, universe, like, um, there's the above London in which we live, and then there's um, below London, which is, like, where the, the people who fall through the cracks end up, like, this underground um, mixed fantasy land of madness. Uh, and it is a kind of mad fantasy in the same way that like, I kept um, thinking about Monty Python when I was reading this. And it's not like a, an out -out comedy or something, but uh, it's just that kind of whimsy. It has that kind of, like, just pure light-hearted randomness um, about it. Um, and the, uh, as you can see at the bottom, obviously, uh, Chris Riddle has illustrated the book but it's not like standard illustrations i mean that's a fairly standard illustration but he's like done caricatures of the characters mentioned in the page like at the side or around the edge or in between the paragraphs or just all these little illustrations and it is uh, very effective at building a universe inside your head because you start to think about the characters in this way uh, and it was kind of nice to have picture references for a change without feeling like you know a child and feeling like you're reading a picture book um what else can i say i i think <laughs> uh the characters in this are for me so so close to being brilliant and they never really took that last step um the lead character's like that uh this character here in the front uh is like that uh and there's just all these characters that i was waiting for that kind of wow moment i was waiting for that oh that's what they did or what they do or like and like you don't really get that with any of the main characters uh, there's two <sighs> villains, I suppose is the only way I can describe them, um, who are called Mr. Croup and Mr. Vandermeer, and they refer to each other as Mr. Croup and Mr. Vandermeer uh, in a kind of Bond villain-esque way. Um, but they are just really enjoyable in, like, they're just terrible, and you kind of enjoy it. Um, but again, where it's all taken, just kind of made me scratch my head and, uh, like, yeah, the, the, the whimsy was fun all the way, fun whimsy, like in, uh, London underneath, um, there's actual shepherds in Shepherd's Bush and everyone fears them because they're like supposed to be really dark and terrible. Um, and just all these little things like uh, there's 
if you get this version, there's an actual um, elephant from Elephant and Castle. Um, just such, like, I mean, if you're from London, I suppose you kind of, you just kind of go with it. It's just nice. It's a nice, like, interpretation of London. But also, like, the way it's all explained and, like, um... It just kind of the rivers of London thing gave me the throwback London that I wanted, um, and I didn't want that much of it. And this went over some of the same old ground, and that stung a little. Uh, and I suppose it's nobody's fault but my own, but it's another urban fantasy that I've read, and it hasn't like blown me away. And it really shouldn't be that hard to like wow me but for some reason they always seem to fall short in um my estimations but still uh neverwhere by neil goyman and illustrated by chris rudolph with the um short story of how the marquee got his coat back or my kiss depending um yeah i would recommend it as being worth a read uh but if you've read it if you want to talk about it uh, let me know in the comments. Okay, that's all I got. See you around.